Okay, so here we are, and uh, we are going to learn simply how to use easel. You have to have a, a, an X carve a, a, an account in Inventables to use easel, and it'll ask you to log in, and this is where you'll come to after you log in if you're going to easel. But you want to get to easel.inventables.com. Right up here, there's the URL. You could just type that in. These are my recent projects. It's going to allow me to trash my last tutorial and the one before. And uh, the one before that. Okay, great. So now I've got this blank screen here. And huh, I can go over here and I can see the preview. What I want to do is I want to go up to here, the machine, make sure I've got the X carve selected, make sure I've got a bit size in that makes sense for my project. This is an eighth of an inch, and it's what most of our bit, bits are. Uh, normally, you could work on the X carve machine, machine in a 30 by 30 inch work area, but it's easier to do the tutorial in 12 inches. Got the spindle control set to manual. Um, you can set up your machine if you do. It's going to ask you to download. That's going to install some stuff on your computer that you need so you can plug your computer right in. If you're not plugging your computer into the uh, X-Carve, you don't need to do this step. Our machine, make sure this is right again. Okay, after you get the machine set up, you want to set up your materials. and. I've been using birch for everything, but it's seeming to me like what I ought to do is I ought to pick one of these, Bubling, Bubinga, I'm going to choose Bubinga and I'm going to change it so that the X is 12 inches by 12 inches, that's fine. I want it to be a half of an inch thick, but if I want to make it a half of an inch, I'm better off making it 0.6 inches, because that way it will cut through any warp in the foam. Depth per pass. With foam, we've been doing okay with 0.25 inches per pass and uh, 30 inches per minute for the feed rate. If you go too fast on the feed rate, the swarf, the dust that you create, hangs up the tool. Same thing happens if you go too deep. Um, also, what can happen is the uh, tool can warp a little bit cutting through the plastic, in which case you get a less clean cut. Okay, so I got that set. Now, if I want to do something with text, hey, okay, we'll just put in Tamu CC. Okay, great. Oh, excellent. So now, Hey, click in, click out, you'll find it. I wish I really knew how to use this. Here I got Tamu CC. We can make a Tamu CC plate. Probably have to pay royalties in order to do that, but uh, maybe not for this demo. So I've got that, and if you look over here, it gives you a preview of what this thing's going to look like. Right now I've got it set to cut out cut it out in fill cut it down the whole thing the entire inside of each of the letters if i cut all the way through you'll see that it makes holes right through the plastic set to a quarter of an inch I don't know what the red is on these. I've always thought it was a warning of some sort, but it doesn't seem like it is. Okay, so I've got this thing. I'm going to put it where I want it to be, wherever that is. And then I'm going to make a new shape. I'm going to make a square shape. And this is a real rudimentary tool, but it really is the fast way to get going you need something fast and easy. So right now this shape is sitting on top of those letters and if I send it to the back 
then it's sitting beneath those letters and you can see the letters again and so I can set this to cut down an eighth of an inch and I can set this to cut down a sixteenth of an inch let's take this again so we're cutting out the entire inside the fill we'll set it down then we can see what this is going to look like and you can see it's leaving raised letters so this is getting cut down to a quarter of an inch and this currently is getting cut down to about a sixteenth okay we're going to leave it at an eighth of an inch so there's a number of choices in the way you cut something and with this I can cut the inside as a fill I can cut the outline of it on the path which cuts it right down the center of the line gives me square corners on the inside round corners on the outside because the tool is round that's always true the outside corners are round and the inside corners are square I can cut on the outside which cuts exactly on the outside of my rectangle nice and clean you know exactly what you're gonna get uh, except that the outside corners of the cut are round again or I can cut on the inside of that and it will cut everything out on the inside of the line except for the very inside of the round corners and if you look at this it gives you a little preview of what those eighth inch corners are going to look like rounded. It's the inside square, this outside's rounded. Okay. But let's say I want to cut the whole thing out right through the plastic, our half inch thick plastic. I'm going to cut on the outside, and I'm going to cut all the way through 0.6 inches. And you can see that it's showing light behind there right now it says use tabs these things are tabs they're little parts that are not cut through so that when you get done what happens is that it's not cut all the way through and the piece isn't hanging there all loose and you don't get your inside piece here torn up by the tool and if it has to keep carving it stands a chance of staying attached if you know that it's going to carve out the outside first, then maybe you can make the length of the tabs a little bit more or the height a little bit more and it'll hold up better. But for most things, these default settings are fine. Okay, at this point, all you have to do to carve is go to the carve button and we'll have a separate tutorial for the carve button and setting up the machine. Before I save this, I want to give it a title and I like having my name in it when I'm working with students so I can tell we're gonna call this test Sunday rename it okay and now I think if I click here it goes over there and there it is if I want to bring it up I can bring it up over there Here's an old design, it's got nothing in it. If I go back here, I can bring up my test Sunday. And there it is. And it's editable again. Okay, so that is the end of this tutorial on simply using easel.